Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a La Soufriere Volcano St. Vincent update. La Soufriere St. Vincent Volcano, massive explosion overnight, actually 4 a.m. Dangerous hot avalanche is reported. This could be the sixth or seventh explosion from this mountain in the last three days. As pyroclastic flows rip through valleys, as the La Soufriere volcano explodes. Another large explosion has occurred at the La Soufriere volcano on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent, Monday, the 12th of April. The eruption was so powerful it was captured by Martinique radar at 4.15 a.m. According to Nemo, the island's disaster agency, the explosion caused the dome to collapse, sending pyroclastic flows along the valleys on the island's eastern and western corridors. On Monday morning, the island's government said all essential workers, including those at seaports, were to report to work, while persons assigned to shelters were asked to continue to assist. Other employees were told to remain at home. On Sunday, geologist Richard Robertson said the instruments show that La Soufre air's activity is not waning and predicted that a 1902 eruption was imminent. The ongoing activity and pattern similar to the 1902 eruption means that the eruptions will cause more damage and destruction, but it also means that you have a safe place in the south of the country, Robertson said, if you like to get covered in ash. So we're going to be taking a close eye at some of this data. And here we can see in the last 24 hours, multiple explosive eruptions have occurred after the fourth 40,000 foot eruption. And just this morning after the large blast, another 10,000 foot volcanic ash advisory. What we're looking at here is the plume of transport of the SO2 forecast. And if I could just blow this up for you, it will be reaching Western Africa today. Here's Monday the 12th, Tuesday. So here we are Sunday, it's movement. And then Monday morning there it hits Africa. And then Tuesday it pushes into Africa. Quite a large plume of sulfur dioxide there. And more is coming because this volcano is not done puffing and passing and booming. New dome in the crater of La Soufre is blown away, literally. The dome we were looking at was over in this region, that large lava dome growing, and that is missing. And it has now been replaced by a gigantic hole. So this is satellite imagery coming out on the 10th, two days ago, after the first three major blasts. And also on the island, St. Vincent, Vincent is also suffering power outages. What could be worse? Not much worse than this. The entire island is covered in ash. And this is a more southern area where there's less ash. Some areas I've seen upwards of a foot of ash. But the entire country is covered in ash currently, including all the crops. I believe this is a crop shot. Look at that. And some of the ejecta, which they are referring to as scoria, but in my opinion, just because it has these large vesicles, they're calling it scoria. This is a scoriated pumice. It is very pumice in nature. It's a scoriated pumice, but either way, splitting hairs. And what I mean by that is it's literally splitting noggins here. This is a seven centimeter piece of rock. I don't know if you know, that's a few inches. <laughs> And that's falling from the sky. I'm going to take you over to the newest GO satellite that's just parsed up here. And you can see the transition from morning, from night to morning there. And that explosion they're talking about, boom, is right there. Not as significant as many of the other explosions. In fact, it is quite insignificant compared to the event as a whole. But as you can see, no more activity after that big puff, just some lingering ash. And we're going to be keeping a close eye on this region because it is not over, according to Diamond and many of the experts. So we have pyroclastic flows ripping through the valley after this explosion this morning right there. Let's watch it. Boom. That's the one that showed up on Martinique satellite, and it looked something like that. And it caused hot and dangerous pyroclastic flows down the eastern and western flanks. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a grand solar minimum and magnetic reversal where increased cosmic rays lead to increase 
explosive volcanic activity and earthquakes. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Subscribe to the channel and plant some seeds. That's a boom to knowledge. Thanks for watching. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more of it. And be safe. We'll see you later tonight.